Wikipedia teaches fat people to settle. If you're new here, my name is Abby and I host the podcast More Than Tracy. Media teaches fat people to settle. If you're new here, my name is Abby and I host the podcast More Than Tracy Turnblad, which is all about fat representation in entertainment and media. So today we are talking about what the media teaches fat people in terms of love and relationships. I've been seeing a lot of TikToks lately on how often people's dating advice is just to settle or to give a guy you're not really into another chance, etc. And I think for fat people, that's very obvious advice because you see so many times in media that basically a fat person settling is the only way they will get love. I think it's good advice in general, though, like lowering your standards and giving a, somebody else another chance, because I think oftentimes our standards are very skewed. And I think that our standards are way more than we want them to be. My standards are like super barren. It's just I want you to be nice to me. I, <laughs> I want you to be nice to me. And I want you to be relatively pretty in the sense of like a five or a six. Anything higher than that is like icing on the cake for me personally. And that's uh, genuinely it. Like just, you know, don't be too much of a burden on my life. Like don't make my life worse, you know? And I feel like it should be like that on the other end. Now I know that you, it's okay to have like other stuff that you want to put in there, like maybe economically sound, right? Uh, good hygiene is, is a good one, right? You don't want somebody smelling bad, which is pretty much um, something that you're not going to get when you date a fat person. So that's already a knock on them, right? Let's be honest here, dude. I just did a video on a woman that said that she can no longer use the toilet because she's so fat that she can't put her butt cheeks on the toilet anymore. You think that person is properly cleaning themselves? <laughs> no. A person that cannot poop in the toilet anymore is not properly wiping or cleaning themselves in any way. But if you're fat, you're already lowering yourself on the dating spectrum brackets because you are taking what you did have, right? Let's say you were average, a five, which let's be honest here, most people are five, most people are fives and you take yourself, you gain weight. Now you are lowering that score. You're not going to tell me that somebody that gains weight is going to be more attractive. That's not how that works. Now, if you're underweight, that's okay. But if you're, if you were already normal weight to begin with and you gain weight, you're lowering yourself on the scale. I mean, we all know that fat people being unlovable is like the number one media trope and like the number one characterization of fat women, especially. And when a fat person does end up in a relationship, especially if it's a supporting character, it's almost always with either somebody who's super freaking weird or who is also fat, but in the way that the movie views it of this person's equally undesirable and is on your level. I don't know what she's talking about exactly. I guess she's talking about movies, dude, like in movies. But then again, you, I don't. I've watched a fair bit of rom-coms, right? I, I I like romantic comedy, so I think I know what I'm talking about when I when I talk about this particular subject. So I've watched I've watched extensive amounts of these. I've never I don't think I've ever seen a romantic comedy with a fat person, with the exception of The Nutty Professor. I guess there are a few, but most of the time they don't really because I think most people don't really want to see fat people. You know, it's kind of uncomfortable to look at a fat person because you you're acknowledging this person is suffering tremendously. Um, which is, I think, one of the appeals that Brendan Fraser, for instance, that movie, The Whale, you're looking at this movie and you're going, OK, but thank God he's not actually fat because he would be literally suffering every single day. Not to say he wasn't suffering under what, what I think he said was like 80 pounds of makeup. But anyway. Or somebody who is foreign and comes from a place where the beauty standard is different. And so they kind of fetishize fat bodies. Yeah, but that's definitely not something that happens. Go to a foreign country anywhere. When you say foreign, like let's say, for instance, like East Asia. Nope. Fat is definitely not desirable. Maybe it's like one of those things where your parents tell you not to do something and then you do it because it's out of spite. It's kind of like that, right? <laughs> Like, screw you, mom. I'm going to I'm going to date this fat person, even though I'm not actually attracted to them. You just told me that I shouldn't be. So I'm going to date a fat person. It's probably something like that. Instead of thin body or part of the person's freakiness will just be that they're into fat people. Yeah. And so we as fat people and especially women are taught that the only way we could end up with love, which is being put forward in media and music and everything as like this fundamental human experience that is like super important to your happiness and decides your happiness is if we settle for one of the few freaks out there who could possibly love us because of whatever weird thing about them that, by the way, also makes them undesirable. But you're saying this as if you're not in that same category of the weird freak. Why won't you acknowledge that being fat is not nor something normal? It's not something that you should be doing to yourself, right? You understand that, yeah? Like the guy that collects his own toenail clippings, I feel like is in a lesser bracket compared to being fat. Because it, when he collects his toenail clippings, that's just kind of, I mean, it's weird. It's definitely weird. But you being fat 
means that you acknowledge that your body is unhealthy, but you continue to eat more than what you should. You're literally telling me that you're, you, you, you understand the circumstances that you're in, yet you continue to do it. It's not even poor decision-making skills. It's literally you just being, I don't even what the word would be for that. Ig not even ignorant. Can't even say ignorant, dude. Because a lot of the times these people will acknowledge that it is bad for them, but they'll continue to eat. I mean, is it, is your life really improvement? Is your life really an improvement when you can eat 300 or 400 times, uh, 300, 400 percent more food than me or this next guy? No, you're literally suffering every single day. I would rather date the guy that collects his own toenail clippings than date a guy or a woman that is 300, 400 pounds, dude. Cause I know that all I have to deal with is maybe a couple jars. I mean, how many toenail clippings can you get, dude? Even if you were cutting your toenails, like religiously, like maybe once a week. Cause how often do you guys cut your toenails? I do mine, like maybe once a week, maybe once and a half week. I, I cut my toenails. I don't have a lot of clippings left afterwards to be accumulating in a jar. I feel like it'd probably take multiple years to fill up an entire mason jar of toenail clippings, right? So I feel like that wouldn't be that big of a deal. Or if you dated somebody that pees in jars, I feel like that wouldn't be, well, that one might be a little bit difficult actually, but I still probably prefer that than dating a fat person. And in fact, a lot of the time, the only thing that makes these people desirable to the fat character, like the love interest desirable to the fat character, is that they are into the fat character. And the fat character is so excited at finally having somebody like pay attention fetish. to them that they go right over there and settle. And so that's then what we are told to do in real life. And if there's somebody who clearly likes you, but you're not sure you like, you are just told, well, you need to give them a chance. Because yeah, of course you should give them a chance, dude. What I'm saying here is that because you're fat, you're putting yourself at a lower bracket. I'm not saying that you should be lowering your standards. You can keep your standards as high as you want, but you should also be understanding that we live in an unjust world. Everything is not going to be the way that you want it. And if you're then going to be upset by the fact that some guys don't like you because you're fat or not even some guys, I would say most people in general are not attracted to fat people just simply from the fact of it's unhealthy. It's unproductive and you're showing me that you're lazy. Okay. Most of the time that's the case. And you are putting yourself in a lesser bracket. So if you want to keep your standards high and you want to be in this, I, I can get whatever I want. I'm beautiful and all this other stuff. The reality of the situation may not reflect what you want it to be. Because it's supposedly like the most attractive thing for somebody who's not conventionally attractive to actually finally be like lusted after no matter who by. You know, what I find it really weird is that these people will say conventionally attractive and it's like they're acknowledging that they're literally pushing they're literally pushing themselves out of the attractive bracket <laughs> isn't that crazy they're literally saying this like they're acknowledging i am no longer conventionally attractive because when somebody says conventionally attractive i'm thinking about a standard body type right maybe some okay features but then because you're oversized that that amount and by the way I, I this woman has gained some weight since the last time i've done a video on her i don't i'm seeing it in her face by the way but you, when you put on this weight, you are now like pricing yourself out of the conventionally attractive bracket because now you're just over inflating everything that you did have. Like your body is now no longer has a, you guys get what I'm saying? It's, you don't look like a, a normal human being anymore. Now you look like a fat person. I always say that fat people look like other fat people. You don't have body structure anymore. You don't have face structure. You, you, if you, and, and sometimes these fat people will go their entire lives and have no idea what they actually look like, which is very sad. And this not only teaches fat people to settle, it teaches people who are attracted to us that they don't have to do anything to get us to like them. They don't have to treat us well. All they have to do is basically be attracted to us. And you know, man, since the avid, since the invention of social media, I feel like fat girls, I, I don't know fat guys, because when you, when it look, when you talk about the fat acceptance movement, you maybe find a few guys, but most of the time they're gay. But when it, when it comes to specifically uh, fat women, I find that fat women have a giant head when it comes to, I mean, giant, not a giant head, it's like a forehead, but a giant head, like their ego is overinflated because, because they're on social media and the way social media is set up, you have copious amounts of people telling you every single day that you're perfect, beautiful, amazing, spectacular, all this stuff, right? Regardless of whether or not that be from, you know, direct messages or just the, you know, you posting yourself somewhere and you get comments on things. People are telling you that you're beautiful and that reinforces your idea. Even though I'm 350 pounds, people are telling me I'm beautiful. I don't have to change. Therefore, now your standards go up higher because people, you, dude, if everybody's telling you that you're beautiful, obviously you're going to think you're fucking beautiful, dude, right? 
And then you get into the real world and then you find out mm, these guys just want to use me. I'm a fetish object, dude. I'm not actually treasured for what I bring to the table. I'm actually just obsessed over my weight. Like people want to date me because they're feeders or they're fetishes or they're very undesirable gentlemen that literally can't acquire dates any other way. So that's really the reality of the situation. That's what I find nowadays when it comes to bigger women, fatter women on dating apps and things like that. And social media. We will come not running, all, not we will all. commit to them, we will serve them with extreme loyalty and do whatever they want because that's our only option and we are so grateful for the attention. I feel like I've seen her wear that shirt like multiple times. I don't date broke men. She got the male's chip challenge hot in her comment section. And I think I figured out why. Anytime a fat woman has a preference that men can't meet, even though they say they don't like fat women anyway, they get upset because they find out that these stereotypes that they have been fed about fat women is not totally true. You know, I think it's completely fine if women don't want to date guys that are not financially stable. I think that's like it, I feel like that's a pretty OK standard for the most part, dude. But I also feel like if you don't got your shit together, it's kind of hard to justify that same thing. Right. If you're broke and you don't whatever, <laughs> it might be hard to justify that. But I, I also I'm on the same bracket of. If you don't want to date a guy that doesn't make money, that's completely fine. Like that's I, I never saw a problem with that. Man, look at this. Look at this um, painting she's got in the background, dude. What is going on, bro? <laughs> right in the butt, right in the butt crack. Is that comfortable? I've had a few people actually grab my ass before. Only men. Only men. Damn. Only fucking men. But um, I always found it like uncomfortable for the most part unless i knew that person and then i was like oh it's it's like a friendly thing but you know the funny thing i remember when i was in elementary school i can't remember what grade but it was like probably middle elementary school there was this guy i wouldn't even say guy this kid right because i was like fucking seven or something but his name was like ruel and <laughs> i remember you you guys remember how you go in lines to the you had to go in lines to the bathroom and everybody had to like take turns only cer certain people can go in it at, at once so it was like me uh, and like four other boys that went to the bathroom at once. And this kid Ruel went to the very farthest one back and we were all, you know, peeing. But here's the thing, right? When you're seven years old, when you're six, seven, um, eight, nine, whatever years old, you, you don't like pull down your pants, um, just enough just so you can whip it out and pee. Some kids was pulling down their pants all the way down. Like it was on their ankles. Right. And i I have to say, I think I was one of those kids. I think my ass cheeks was just out and this kid. He would purposely finish first and then just start spanking ass all the way, <laughs> all the way down. You know, he would, that's what he would do. He'd grab ass and spank ass all the way down. And at first I was about to start fighting this dude, right? Cause I'm like, dude, you just grabbed my fucking ass. Like I'm not, what is wrong with you, dude? That's fucking, that's fucking weird, dude. That's gay. You know, dude, you can't just grab my ass like that. But then everybody was laughing at it. And I just kind of accepted it as like, oh, oh he, oh, this is just what he does. But I shouldn't have accepted that. What the hell are you doing, dude? Like, I, I get that we're all like seven years old or something like that. But simultaneously, dude, why are you grabbing my ass, dude? That's not, I don't like that shit, dude. You're sexually assaulting me. <laughs> but anyway. And now they can't get the help that they feel entitled to, that they thought that they was going to get from fat women. Because, you know, all of us are supposed to have low self-esteem and we're desperate for a man. And now that we have standards and preferences that they can't meet, they can't use us for a come up. And it's pissing them off. What's up with your eye makeup right now? It, it They look like two plums right above your eyes. I feel like it's way overdone, dude. And uh, way too thick too, right? The the texture of it, I can see it directly over the eye. It looks like you just kind of took a, 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 not a marker, but like a crayon, just started drawing it on, right? But yeah, dude, um, I, I'm happy if you have standards and whatever, dude. I don't think there's anything wrong with a woman wanting to negate a man from the dating pool if he's not financially stable. But the thing about money is it comes and goes. Where you are right now is not going to be where you are in 10 years. So I think that it, it is depend because like I, you see it all the time where people break up with each other because somebody stops making money or somebody doesn't make as much money as they once did. And it's a tough situation all around, dude. But um, either way, I think that's justified decision. And if you don't want to date fat women, I think it's the same thing. Like if you don't want to date fat people, that's like, that's fine, dude. That's like, I think that's completely justified in the same way. And what's really trippy about this, the men that they are most loyal to, they homeboys, they can't call and ask for a rusty nickel. All right then, bye. I think I can call like a lot of, if I was in need, like if I needed money, I feel like I can go to a, a very large portion of my friend group and ask them for money. And I'm like almost 
94% confident that mostly all of them would oblige because they know I'm good for it, dude. I'd pay back my debts 100% of the time. I'm trying to go on a second date with someone that I like and he wasn't going to pick me, so I didn't pick him either. Okay, that um that video it it's my whole life. That was my whole life in a video. It's sad. And I am deeply unsurprised by the responses to this cuz I've had basically the same attitudes for my whole life and I have gotten all of those responses from my friends and everyone that I know. So you're literally negating men that you may think that don't like you because you have a feeling. Is that what it is? Because she said that. She said, he wasn't going to pick me, so I didn't pick him. But you didn't know that he wasn't going to pick you. That's the thing. How do you know this person doesn't like you until you know that they don't like you? You can't just make... <laughs> what kind of predetermination shit is that, dude? That's not how that works. What do you? What kind of like... You reading minds like Professor X, dude? How does that work? The response is being... Why are you so picky? Why are you writing people off before they can write you off? Yeah. Why are you so closed off, etc.? People really want to believe that you are more in control of your dating prospects than you think you are, or than maybe you actually are. Yes, confidence is important, but when you are a fat person expressing interest in somebody who does not overtly have interest in you back, is literally dangerous. It's emotionally dangerous, sure. And it's also, it can be literally dangerous. Man, welcome to being a guy, dude. You know how many times I've heard personally men walking up to girls and saying like, oh, hey, you're so cool. You're so pretty. Can I get your number? And a woman just going, you're disgusting. You're fuck. You look like Sasquatch. Like you look like, you know, like the worst thing you could possibly think of. Like you look like a milk jug or, you know, you look like Kermit the Frog. Like I've heard some things that are like so bad and uh just immediately getting dismissed i remember one time i hit up a girl on a dating app like a while ago and she hit me with a what makes you think that you could talk to me like what makes you think you are so physically undesirable and the fact that you thought you could text me is is actually ridiculous and i'm just like dude you fucking liked my profile too so obviously like you just do this for fun obviously if you're liking my profile and i'm liking your profile, it's the only way that i can actually message you i'm not paying ten dollars a month for premium obviously it's a fucking dating app dude but you message like the only way i'm able to message you is because you liked my shit so the like you just like perpetually shit on dudes for fun because i got three gay dudes that are hitting me up right now and they're telling me that they are perfectly willing right now to perform fellatio upon me so i think you i think you are the one that needs to back up and you uh, reassess your options because I got three gay men. It would be a privilege to talk to me, okay? Anyway. Then I went back looking through old journals to see if I could journals. find anything I'd written at the time about people that I had crushes on. And there was nothing because I would not even leave a paper trail of my feelings because if my mom or the CIA read them or somebody found them and that got out, that was like dangerous for me and could compromise like my social standing my safety my friends and like ability to be a part of the group and what are you typing like <laughs> so you write down in your like handy dandy notebook that you like fill up or something right and then you think that somebody reading that is going where why are you even writing that down though i i feel like i've never thought about writing down the people that i like but then again i've never been in a situation where i thought that you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like that's just weird. When you hit adulthood, is it really even that big of a deal to think about who you do and do not like? Like, I'm writing down, oh, Samantha, she's so cool. She's so awesome. I wish I could really just date her and this and that. No, I I, I would, if I liked somebody, usually what I would do was I would just go up like, hey, um, do you want to get coffee sometime? No? Okay, bye. And then never, not talk, never talk to them, but never think about them in a, in a romantic way ever again, because it's like, well, it's just wasting my time at this point. If you don't like me, that's completely fine. There are plenty of fish in the sea, right? That's fine. If you don't want to engage in a relationship, I'm sure somebody will, dude. I know what I got, dude. Big meated, right? That's what I'm talking about, dude. <laughs> no, but I don't know why you're making this a big deal as if like your friends are going to stop being friends with you because you thought that Jacob was hot, dude. No, I'm pretty sure nobody would do that. And if they did, they weren't your friends to begin with. Humans, we are wired to desperately want to be a part of the group, which sometimes, yes, does work against us, but also helps us to survive. And I've seen other stitches to this. And yes, as a fat person, you can tell when someone's not interested. And it's because they look right through you or they don't look at you at all. They do not. Yeah, I don't know about that, dude. You could tell whether or not somebody likes you or doesn't like you based off of like, 
what, dude? Like, could you go into that a little bit more? I'm gonna need to know more information about your your the the, the uh, your ability to know whether or not somebody does or does not like you. Cause I, I'd never seen that dude. I mean, there have been some times where I met up with a girl and I knew that it wasn't going to work, but that's usually because of like body language or stuff like that. Right. But it, within the first like two or three minutes of meeting somebody, I'm not noticing that shit. Hell no. And there have been some times where I thought this person doesn't like me. And then, yeah, they actually did like me quite a bit. So I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Like, how do you know? How do you know? Can you tell, please tell us. You with basic human decency to the point that when someone does treat you with basic human decency, it is difficult to figure whether they're interested or whether they are simply being a nice person. Yeah, this is that this is that problem with that guys have, dude. Guys will just automatically assume if a girl is being nice to them in any way. It's like, oh yeah, she wants it, dude. She wants my dick in and around her mouth right now. The amount of times that I've talked to guys that thought that. They go, oh, bro, like she was just talking to me for like 45 minutes. And I've talked to girls that say the same thing. I remember this one time I was talking to this girl and she said, oh, no, no, this guy's just, he's just my friend. Um, we just hang out sometimes. Like we go to the mall and we go eat together sometimes. And he's just my friend. He's just my friend. Nothing, nothing at all. And I, I remember telling her, I was like, dude, she's gonna, he likes you, dude. No, he likes you 100%. Dude, that guy's gonna ask you out or he's just waiting for his opportunity to pounce. No, no, he would never. He would never. Literally, like that same day, that exact same day, he asked her out. That he professed his love, actually professed it, telling her that he loves her and all this other shit. And I remember her calling me, like he he asked me out. I was like, well, yeah, dude. Like there's there's it's difficult for men to to distinguish whether or not it's a friend or not a friend. And most of the time, because most a lot of men, especially younger ages have absolutely no experience or know how to navigate relationships or <laughs> or know how to be friends with women in general. So it's difficult. It is. It, it, and women are intimidating when you're like, when you're 22, but you have no idea um, that this woman is a banshee or a delicate sunflower. You have no idea. So and some of them will ruin your life because they'll say some really hurtful shit. So do not shit on this girl because she is a finely tuned machine no. who has spent her whole life probably figuring out how not to put herself in dangerous situations by putting herself out there with people who she knows will not go for it and will potentially literally publicly humiliate her over it. Okay, that that's like me going, I can't do stuff today. I can't go out today because I could get hit by a car. I'm going to get I'm going to get hit by a car, so I'm not even going to bother leaving the house today because it's just not worth it. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. You're literally dismissing something without even understanding what the idea of it is. You're <laughs> How do you know? You can't just say like this person understands that this person won't like them and not give any evidence or talk about why they know or how. And is this the best, most healthiest, most no. evolved way to be? No, it's probably not. Not probably. But it's survival. No. It's what we had to do. And I can tell you from experience that when the right person comes along and she feels safe, she will open up. No, and she no will dude, you're, you can't just say that she will open up from experience. Who are you compared to her? What are you fucking talking about, dude? So you so you have to meet the the correct somebody, but how do you know they're the correct somebody because you're immediately dismissing these people because you think they won't like you because you're fat? How does that work, man? I'm not understanding your strategies, dude. Give them a chance because she will know. You can tell. No. She will know. How? Somebody plus size being on a date. Which, for the most part, I'm that bitch. So, and, and this is the thing about me, and I want to make this known. Until I fall in love with you, I don't give a fuck about you. That's tough. That's forever. Period. And Period, there's gonna, mama. And can you put a camera? There's going to be a lot of men to attest to this that Big Sexy is a savage. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree with that shit, dude. If I'm going steady with a girl, right, I don't have to fucking love you to respect you as a person that i'm dating at this current moment right uh so what is, is it just open season like if, we're, if i don't actually love you then i could just fuck around with other people how does that work exactly dude because i think that if you're dating somebody you're giving them you're giving them this verbal communication of i am giving you myself i'm not gonna not gonna you know have sex with other people or uh cheat on you in any way dude. i think it's pretty fucked up to say you're you ain't shit until i love you how do you know you love somebody, though? Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it takes a while to acknowledge whether or not you love that person. And sometimes, like, years later, you may acknowledge that that person that you thought that you loved. No, you just kind of thought they they were cool and they smelled nice. And it wasn't actually love, you know? And because what you feel now is way bigger than it was 
you know, then and you're speaking of bigger, right? A lot of men to attest to this that Big Sexy is a savage. <laughs> but if I fell in love with you, bitch, I'm a weird bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she weird. <laughs> She's in love. She, saw my, she called my phone 175 times. I surely <laughs> the fuck did. Stop fucking playing with me. <laughs> but if I don't love you, oh, boy, no. go hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. hell. I, I, that is absolutely some of the worst. Dude, if a woman called me 107... I've had shit like this happen to me, though. Like, dude, I'm chilling right now, talking to my friends. I, can I just have my time? Can I just have my time, dude? You know, I don't have to talk to you all the time, right? Calling me 400 times. It, you think that you think I want to talk to you after the, the seventh, eighth time? Dude, if it's not an emergency, why is it this? Why are you calling me this much, dude? Why why are you doing that? That's a red flag, bro. Don't put up with that. Do not put up with that, dude. Unless it's an emergency. But even if it's an emergency, dude, a hundred times, I've, 50, 60 times, I've been in this situation. It's not, it's, <laughs> it's, I'm not like bragging about it. I think it's not a good thing. But this is not a, this is not. And when she said she's a savage, I'm thinking about like sexual stuff, right? What are you doing? What can you do? What, what are we going to do, right? What can you do if you're a savage sexually? That being fat, being extremely overweight, what can we do here? Hmm? I'm looking at it right now. I'm not seeing much, dude. I'm not looking at... Uh, but then again, I wouldn't want to do anything with her in general. But as for me, dating is normal. Like, I'm literally that bitch. Um, okay. As I got older, when I was younger, I was probably like a little more little not trying to eat. Bitch, give me the fucking food. I know, that's um, right. But as I got extra older... Extra bread, Yeah, butter. extra bread, extra butter. You the know what I'm saying? Like, saying. You're not the bread, go, listen. You not taking that home with you? <laughs> Boy, you better go ahead and put that shit on my guy. I actually... That's actually that was that's terrible. <laughs> Can you imagine being in a restaurant with somebody and they order extra condiments or extra appetizers? <laughs> Yo, calm down, bro. The food is coming. The food is coming. We're here for the food that we ordered, not for the breadsticks that have been on this shelf for three days. Um, we're not here for that. Fat women are not here to be your secret booty calls. We are not here for that. It is 2022. You are taking us on a date giving us a fucking meal and we're here to be seen that's okay hold on now i'm not taking you anywhere dude first of all dude if you feel like you're entitled to be put to be sent with me on a date i don't know dude i feel like you don't really deserve anything right dude i, I don't know about that dude and uh, i'm glad that you're fat and you have all these high standards and stuff like that but uh nope not taking not taking you on a date that's So, quick story time. I matched with this white man on Hinge. What the fuck is going that. on with the top of the eyebrow, dude? Wh I mean, the bottom of the eyebrow. Did you, you like put lashes on yourself like three different times? What is going on, dude? Looks like waves. Anyway, let's hear her story about the white man. So, quick story time. I matched with this white man on Hinge and he added me on Snapchat, which, ew, but whatever. Wait, so, what? white man on hinge and he added me on snapchat which ew but wait why is that ew what the fuck are you talking about that's usually like the next that's usually the next step did you not think that 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 what are you what are you planning on happening when you meet somebody on a dating app do you think it's just gonna stay on the dating app what the fuck is what is the pro I, I honestly have no idea what her problem is so it's an ill because he added you on snapchat what what's what do you want you just want to communicate with them for your entire rest of your life on on Hinge? How, all right. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever. So when we first clicked, I was like, I don't like suggestive messaging. Like, you can stop with the you're sexy. I'll warm you up. You're going to take a shower without me shit because that'll get you blocked at the quickness. And he said, okay. Well, then today I showed him my hair and he said I was sexy. And I was like, thanks. Whatever. Just accept the compliment, right? And he's like, and you look a little thick too. I've been trying to explain to this man that I'm fat for like a week. You know how easy it is to explain to somebody that you're fat? Tell me your height and your weight. That's literally all I need to know, dude. 5'3", 250? Oh, huh. That's all you needed to say, bro. Thank God you let me know about this shit this, this soon, dude. I'm gonna have to... I'm, hold up. Let me just unmatch you real quick. Let me just block your number because you already thought it was disgusting that I even hit you up on Snapchat to begin with. Let me just unblock you. My bad. Let me just block you and move on to the next person. That's how easy it is. Just tell me your height and your weight. If you're, if you think that I don't know that you're fat, just tell me those two things. That's easy, dude. That's easy. Oh, but then again, they may not know their weight because. 
<laughs> that might be the actual issue here, actually. I just thought about it. These people are allergic to understanding their weight and knowing what their weight is because they think it's fat phobic to understand <laughs> to know their weight. So maybe that's what the issue is. Doesn't mean I'm not fine. It just means that I'm both. You know what I mean? No. So I reply and say, yeah, I am. Definitely am. To which he replies, ain't nothing wrong with a little extra booty. Sir, I didn't say anything about any extra yams. And I didn't say anything about no extra cake either. Look, I'm going to keep it a buck, dude. If you're fat and you don't have a ginormous... It, like, if, if the weight didn't dis dispute, distribute uh, to your buttocks and other favorable features, that's just sad, dude. If you're like... Can you imagine gaining all that weight and then you get it in, in your gut and then nowhere else, dude? Because a lot of the time, I feel like... It's it's way more favorable to get the weight in your booty and in your boobs because some of that stuff will go there. Even for men, right? I've met a lot of guys that when they gain weight, it goes right to their boobs, dude. You would be surprised the amount of times I've seen men with big giant boobs, dude, voluptuous, hairy boobs, man. But um, you know, it's it's pretty sad because most of the time that's not very acceptable. Like I feel like women aren't looking for men that they can also like. You know what I'm talking about? Like I suck on your boobs and then you suck on mine type of thing. I feel like most women are not looking to suck upon a man's uh, boobs. But then again, I could be wrong. I have met a few women that have told me that they want to uh, suck on my nipples. And I always tell them the same, t same thing every single time. Uh, you can do it, but I don't, there's nothing there. You know, I'm not really going to feel anything, right? So, you know, but this is like, th these are the same girls that go like, can I eat your ass? No. Why would you want to, oh, but your G spot's there. I don't care. I didn't set up my body's uh, biology, right? And the fact that you, you're going to sit there and go, oh, but if I do that, you'll feel it more. I don't care, dude. That's not the point, all right? I just don't want your, like, it, it's a compromising position. I'm be laying, laying, bound, laying down in bed, knees behind my head, dude. I don't know, dude. I feel like you won't look at me the same either, dude, because now after that shit, hey, no shade. If you want to, if you're a man, dude, and you want to have your ass eaten, dude? I don't think there's anything wrong with that, dude. Go ahead, go do it. I actually know, I actually know a guy that had his girlfriend eat his ass, and he said it was delightful. His words, not mine. If you want to do that, go ahead, dude. And I always tell women that want to eat my ass or eat at man ass in general, unless it's like a gay dude or a guy that properly takes care of himself, men don't even wash their legs. And you're you want to eat ass, dude? You you know what you know what you're signing up for. You're gonna have to use all your strength not to throw up that's all i'm gonna say hair all over the place dude we don't shave when was the last time i shaved never i've never shaved any part of my body with the exception of my face never done that um i don't even know what my butthole looks like so anyway i said i gained weight hold on and i didn't say anything about no extra cake either i said i gained weight and it's evenly distributed you might want to pay attention so you're not confused when i pull up and i'm shaped like a deep freezer because i fucking <laughs> told you Damn. <laughs> yeah, she said she looked like okay, a Okay, I think it's time that I make a follow-up video to this video. The video where I talk about how big gym bros tend to like and go for bigger women. And the only reason that I'm making a follow-up video is because of comments like this. And all of the comments that I've gotten like this from- To smash, finish the story, please, because you'd be doing a video with him if he was trying to be with you. They are all- begging to have fun with you yeah they always like to say that gym bros like fat girls but i always think the same thing like guys will have sex with anything like it's not really a competition um it doesn't really there's no scaling when it comes to having sex i remember i was talking to this guy and he was asking me he's like how many what's your body count Dave? what's your body count i was like i don't know four and he was like mm, yeah dude you're fucking weak you got no bodies bro and i was like what's your body count and he was like, oh, yeah, my body count's like 44, 43 or something like that. And I was like, what? Your body count is that high? Because he wasn't, let me just, he doesn't have kneecaps almost. He's a very short guy. And he looks like he doesn't have kneecaps. He looks like he walks like Hank Hill's dad from King of the Hill. I'm not saying that could take away from anything, but he's really short too. And I know that might be a thing. But I think that I probably am a little bit more physically attractive than him because I have kneecaps. But. He was telling me they had 44 bodies. So I was like, wow, that is actually insane. That's a lot of women that you've had sex with. And then he was like, yeah, check out these, check out this woman I just had sex with the other night, right? And he sent me a picture of this woman. And I'm not here to body shame. Sometimes I am, but I was looking at this woman, dude. And she had like a mustache, dude. Um, dude, she wasn't looking that good, dude. And I was just thinking, damn, bro, like, is this, is this usually what you go for? 
And he was like, yeah. And I was like, this makes sense. This makes sense right here. Now I understand why you have 44 bodies compared to me. I get it now. This makes perfect sense because I don't go for those types of people. You know, I usually go for people on my level or higher. And you are going for people that are maybe lower. Maybe. I don't know, actually. But this makes sense. But I also want to put it like maybe like if you think because you have 44 bodies and I have four, for instance. I feel like mine should count for like five then, right? Because if that's the way, if my bodies are not equal to yours, you get what I'm saying, dude? I mean, but then, but then again, I did have sex with a really overweight woman at one point. So I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> let me know down below what you guys think. Men and women alike who have said things like, it's because you're easier to sleep with. They're not actually going to wife you up. And I... I'm not here to argue with you. <laughs> I'm not here to refute any of that because it's true. And you know, it used to like drive me insane because of all the big built gym bros that I used to have on my roster, they really, I know for a fact, they really liked me. They would come back for more. They would sit around and hang out with me. Like most of the time when we were hanging out, it wasn't just fooling around. We would like sit and talk. We would laugh. We would cuddle. We would go out to dinner. This I know you went out to dinner, but uh, how many dudes did you do this with, dude? The way she's making it sound like on her roster. So you had a roster of gym bros that you were just casually fucking... <laughs> What are you talking about, dude? Way to way to really value your body. No, look, if you want to have sex with whoever you want to have sex with, go ahead. But that sounds she's just casually talking about this as if she's having sex with like copious amounts of gym bros, you know, whenever she wants. Have a roster of guys, apparently. But um, of course they're coming back for more, dude. If you're sitting here just passing it around, it looks like seems like you're just kind of going to the gym, not even to work out, it looks like and gym bros are just having sex with you. I, guess. <laughs> I don't know if that's just what it is. Of course I'm coming back, dude. You know why? Because it's easy. Because it's fucking easy, dude. Now ask those same guys if they would wife you up, if they would be your thing, okay? Your boo thing, dude, your main squeeze. Enter into a relationship. Ask them if they would do that. I, I, I can't say promise, but I, I bet a lot of them, most of them will probably say no. Most of them will probably say no. Uh, one, because if you're overweight, that's already a problem, right? And these are gym guys, so they know what they're... Usually gym guys know what's going on with nutrition and dieting and body composition and things like that. And then also, you're just give, you Bro, you're putting the... You're, you're giving me the milk, right, dude? Uh, make me work for it. I don't want to just get the, get, the, get the pussy right off the bat, dude. Let me work for it, dude. And then I value you more. Um, if you're just having sex with 10 gym bros in a month, then um, I don't know, dude. I don't think I'm going to be valuing you as much as uh, you might think because that, that's a lot. Like, what do you mean a roster? You had a roster of gym bros that you were casually having sex with? Oh, <laughs> all right. I think I might know what the actual issue is. But the weight act is an issue, but the... I think I'm seeing another issue too. And that, but they would never take the extra step to make me their girlfriend. Yeah, no and it drove me insane because they obviously really liked me. When I saw all these men in the comments, like hee hee ha ha it up, being like, <laughs> we got you. We don't actually really like you. We're just using you. I'm like, well, I'm glad you think this is funny because I honestly feel bad for you. I, I don't understand that. I, I want to know what she has to say, but I think it's a little bit crazy. You're acknowledging that you had these gym guys that were just casually having sex with you. You got nothing out of it because they had, they gave you no commitment, which is sad. And you were wondering why none of them wanted to wife you up when you knew the reason why. And I bet, I bet it did have a lot to do with the fact that you were fat, but it's also probably, was it the same gym? Cause you know, gym guys talk to each other, right? Oh, I had sex with Sarah. Oh, you had sex with Sarah? Dude, I had sex with Sarah too. And then because that guy just yelled, you're going to have like four other guys like, Sarah? You guys know Sarah? Yeah, yeah. I was just telling Joseph that I, me and Sarah, oh, you you and Sarah? And then, you know, it, it was, was it the same gym? <laughs> was it the same gym, dude? I don't know. I just feel like if you're just giving up sex without commitment um, and then also getting upset that these guys don't want to show you the commitment, dude, I don't know what to tell you, bro. You're give you know, what is it? But you're really doing it to yourself at that point. You keep finding yourself in the arms of a bigger woman, then you have a preference. You have a preference, sweetheart, and you are denying yourself happiness with the women that you're attracted to and that you like. 
That's some super fucking copium right now, dude. She's really just sitting there going, it's your fault. You're the one with the problem because you're having sex with me and you're getting what you wanted and you don't, you're not getting what you wanted. What are you talking about right now, man? It really kind of sounds like you're, <laughs> you're trying to justify the, the, the enormous amount of sex that you had with these men and not getting wifed up afterwards, bro. They're right. They're getting what they want and they're, they're leaving. You're giving them something for nothing. And you expect them to stay? What are you talking about? Here's what you do. Slow and steady. Okay, date around. Right? Take your time. Don't just have sex with gym bros uh, because you think they're hot. I don't know what... Uh, I honestly have no idea why she's... Uh, oh, it's your fault. You're denying your attraction is to women. To big women. Because you constantly find yourself in the arms of big women. You literally just acknowledged in the same video that you think it's quote-unquote easier to have sex with bigger women. So if I'm getting it for free, okay, and I'm not talking about myself here, I'm saying in general, if you're getting it and I'm having sex with fat women because they're easier, and then you're saying that I'm attracted to you, but you're also saying that you acknowledge that it's easier and then you're acknowledging that that's the reason I'm having sex with you. So what the fuck do you mean attraction? It has nothing to do with attraction. It has nothing to do with attraction. It has everything to do with the fact that I'm getting it for free and you have you have no problem with it. That's, that's what the issue is for one of two reasons. Number one, it's because you're scared of what other people might think. No. You won't introduce her to your friends and family because you don't want to be made fun of. You don't want to be clowned. No, I'm not introducing you to my friends and family because you're just casual sex partners. What, dude, what is even the issue, bro? You're literally telling me you had a roster of men that you were having sex with. And you're telling me that you 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 think that you're you, you're gonna come home with me? Well, let me show you to my, let me show you to my parents. Does my dad know you? He goes to the same gym. What are we doing right now, bro? What are you even saying? I'm sure you're a very nice and beautiful person. I, I, I don't think this has anything to do with you being fat. And I think it has everything, to, everything to do with the fact that you're just giving it up for nothing. That's the issue, bro. That's the issue, man. <laughs> oh my God. And I don't know about you, but I don't think that sounds like very alpha behavior. Does it, babes? Like, I would think that a true alpha isn't going to let anyone tell him who he should or shouldn't date, you know? And then the second reason would be that you are so self-conscious, you have such low self-esteem about yourself, that in order to feel accepted and good about yourself, you have to date someone who has a societally acceptable body. You have to have a trophy. This is actually hilarious. The copium this woman is sniffing upon right now is actually hilarious. <laughs> is actually hilarious dude i really don't think this is an issue solely on this woman okay i really do not think this has anything to do with your weight i'm gonna be totally honest here and i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i honestly think that the issue is you had sex with too many gym bros and word got around and you're not somebody why would i bro what are you talking about man i don't care if you look in a particular i would date a woman to have one leg dude you know, I would date a woman with one leg, dude. I don't think that's an issue. I would show them, hey, mom, guess what? This is, you know, whoever. Isn't she great? Oh, that one leg, don't worry about it. She's cool, right? I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue for you is, dude, you're having sex with all these guys, these gym bros, like you said. And let's be honest here. If you're having sex with copious amounts of gym bros, you have a roster of them, like it's a Mortal Kombat fight. <laughs> Like you're picking characters from Mortal Kombat, right? You're you're scrolling through your Rolodex, finding which gym bro you want to have sex with today. I don't know what the circumstances of this thing, but she's literally out here t talking about that. I think that's what the issue is, bro. The guys are not going to commit to you because you're you're giving them. Why do I buy the cow if I'm getting the milk for free? You get what I'm saying, dude? You're already giving me what I want, and I'm getting it for free, and you're not complaining. And then if you do complain, that's okay because I didn't have to do anything to get what I wanted to begin with and I just walk away. Don't you understand that is being fat might be an issue, sure. I'm not saying that, but I, what I'm saying is that in this particular scenario, I don't think it's the bigger issue. Gosh, if that isn't just the saddest thing I've ever heard. So you can laugh all you want, but if you continually find yourselves in the arms of a bigger woman, I genuinely wish you all the healing and all the courage in the world to be able to find happiness and date the person that you want to date. Dude, men will have sex with watermelons. I don't know why you're sitting here proclaiming that 
if you continuously find yourself in the arms of a big woman. If a guy is having sex with a lot of big women, <laughs> I don't think that's an I don't think that's like a direct indication that he loves big women. I think that maybe he just go into a particular place, dude. I don't know. All right, dude. Let me know. <laughs> let me know down below what you guys think about this woman. Not the person you think you have to date. Dude, that's actually crazy, bro. Hilarious. You're looking at that. You're waiting for that red light. That's correct. Yeah. Carly has never had a boyfriend. Really? Never. So what shies you away from not having a boyfriend? Is it yourself or you? nobody's pursued you? It's kind of like it's never lined up with the right person. Careful, careful. Don't touch me. <laughs> hey. Satu. What was it? Satu. Satu, nice to meet you. Nice My name is you. Carly. Let's do a little talent show. Okay. Satu, I hear you're really good at armpit farts. My best friend just learned how to armpit fart. She's I feel like that's not something that you want to do when you first meet somebody, right? I don't think that's the, <laughs> I don't think that's the ideal first move, but the fact that she's never dated anyone i don't know dude like how old are you that might be a little bit of a red flag unless you're like amish or something i don't know dude i, I would need to know she looks like she's probably like 30 dude what's been holding you back bro what's been holding you back man do you, you haven't dated anybody nobody because that's a red flag in the sense of like why didn't anybody want to date you and also what made them repel like what what made them not want to date you and then why didn't you want to date them like there's so many things there that probably i don't even want to get into I haven't learned it yet. I'd love to see yours. All right, let me do this real quick. <laughs> yes. Don't. All right, you guys ready for this? Yes. Right. Uno, dos, tres. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh my God. Yeah, that's pretty good. But that was impressive. I'm not going to lie. Okay. That was way more realistic than I thought. Damn, she went for that quick, dude. Dude, she's fucking fast for a big girl, but I'm not going to lie, dude. Her fucking skill when it comes to that, that speed, when it comes to pushing that button, she saw that he was going for it, dude. He didn't like that big girls. But see, he fucked up by backing up from the table, right? You got to push the button. You got to be real close. You got to anticipate it, dude, because she's a big girl. I'm already going to click the button as soon as I see it, dude. I'm not willing to take this big girl on a date. I don't have the money in order to satisfy her hunger. I respect your decision. Yeah, of course. The armpit part didn't do it for you? I press the button as a defense move, not really an offense move. I'm trying to go on a second date with someone that I like, and he wasn't going to pick me, so I didn't pick him either. No, you didn't like him. That's what had happened, okay? I don't know what you mean by defensive move, dude. I don't know how you could tell this guy didn't like you, dude. He did an armpit fart for you. That seems like he might have liked you, bro. He did something that he probably shouldn't have done. He wasn't cool about it either. It kind of seemed like something he would do with him and his boys around. So, you know, the fact that he did it with you, he was, I don't know, he could have been your potential husband. Somebody that would have loved you, but instead you just disqualified him. It's terrible. The worst Tinder experience that I ever had was when a man told me I was disgusting and that I had fat arms and I didn't wear tank tops for a very long time after that. Wow, that really hurt you that hard, bro. I've had women, I've had women tell me that I look disgusting, dude. Oh, you're skinny, this and that, dude. I've had... The worst things that you could possibly call somebody. Oh, you look like a humpback seagull, dude. You're 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 just disgusting. Do you even wear it? You look like you don't wear deodorant. <laughs> you look like you don't wear deodorant. You know, I've had literally probably the worst things ever said to me um, on dating apps. And you know what? You just kind of roll with it, dude. Because at the end of the day, I don't even know this person. So why does it even matter if this person thinks I look disgusting or <laughs> <laughs> or whatever bro that's just kind of like the male experience though is just getting constantly denied you just gotta hope that that <laughs> you just kind of gotta hope that the woman that you ask out doesn't throw you under the bus while she says no <laughs> you know but uh i feel like that's just like a common thing and the fact that you had to deal with it it is what it is that's what that's what it is to date for the most part i was always told my arms are a little big and they are um but for the first time in a long time, I am comfortable showing them. And I got like five different compliments on my outfit today. Broad and you shoulders, know what man. none of them said? None of them said shit about my arms. Great. But yeah, I really hate that Tinder guy. He was the worst. Welcome uh, to being I think that's a probably good, good experience. If your worst experience is somebody said that your arms were fat, dude. That doesn't even sound that bad, dude. What? Man, dude, I had somebody tell me that I look like Adolf Hitler and that that's nasty. You know what I'm saying, dude? I had once, I had somebody call say that I look like John Belushi, dude. And I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say John Belushi was ugly, but it's definitely not somebody that I want to look like, right? But if your worst experience is that somebody called your arms fat, 
I feel like you're you're good, dude. You're fucking good, bro. That's really not even bad at all. On a plus size dating app as a plus size woman. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. So I heard about this dating app that's called Woo Plus that is specifically caters to people who are or who like to date plus size people. I mean, okay, I'm I'm no stranger to dating apps, so I figured, you know what? It's 2022, I may as well try it, I guess. It sounds like a bad idea to go to a particular place for a small my a small niche community of people that may or may not <laughs> that may like you for a variety of reasons. I mean, they're already telling you that most guys are liking fat women because they're fat. It's like a fetish. So if that's the if that's the thing, wouldn't it wouldn't it be a thing where you go on the app and you meet a lot of guys that that like you because they they're fetishizing you? I don't know. That was a mistake. Yeah. One of the first matches that I get automatically accuses me of listing myself as the wrong size. Gotta love it when a total stranger just starts policing you on how you view your own body. Like he's straight up like, you're not supersized. You're not the right size. That's not right. Well, maybe it's maybe it's just like a little joke, you know, like you're starting a conversation, breaking the ice, if you will, dude. Maybe that's what it was, you know, and what do you mean by like policing your own body, bro? It could just be a joke. Maybe he's into really bigger girls. I don't even know what supersized. What what is that? What 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 kind of weighing scale is that supersized? What the fuck dating app is this where somebody is supersized? Are there numbers by the weight, at least like a supersized like 300 plus? Or, like, are you in a bracket area? I'd never seen that before. Okay, first of all, the self-descriptors on there go anywhere between athletic to chubby, a few extra pounds. The next step up is super size. Yeah, that's disrespectful, dude. I would not want to be on a dating app where <laughs> I have to put my da myself down as super size, bro. That's, that seems pretty fucking disrespectful to me. I'm more than just an extra few pounds. Like, I'm 360 pounds right now. God damn, that's... That's a lot, dude. 365? Damn, bro. That means you weigh... Let me think about that. You weigh more than double what I weigh. And I'm probably taller than you. So that means you're shorter than me. You weigh double plus 50 on top. You... Damn, you're fucking big as shit, dude. Woo! You are a big woman, dude. And so I naturally responded with going, Oh, well... You know, I explained my logic. I went with that label because that's how that was the best oh, way. Oh hell I could... yeah, dude! That's most definitely super size, dude. You picked the right one. That's most definitely super size. Three fifty? What'd you say? Three three sixty seven? Damn, dude! I don't even know how you get that size, bro. Three sixty seven? You almost on the crust before. What what happens when you hit four? Why didn't you do anything when you hit three? Damn, dude! Three. Once you once you touch over two, I feel like you got maybe a few pounds before you really got to start thinking about losing weight. But uh, you hit three, no problem. You went well over three, too, at that. 367, whoa. Big. Think to describe myself? And then, like, a couple seconds later, he's like, your profile definitely looks like a scam. You're totally fake. Bro, what the fuck? Okay. Weirdest neg I've ever received. Are you telling me that I'm too pretty? No. Or that what I put up sounds fake? Like, what is it? And my response was, okay. Now, I'm personally comfortable with putting my social media handle on my dating app so people can kind of look and be like, oh, like, is she actually who she says she is? She is, great, you can- Kind of seems like the guy wants you to be bigger, dude. He's upset that you're only 367, dude. He wants you to be in the fours, the fives, bro. This guy wants a big girl, you know what I'm saying, dude? He wants you not being able to move, bro. That's what he really wants, and he's upset that you're you're too light for him dude he wants that he wants that real voluptuousness check me out on different things you know one thing i did not think that was going to happen was getting fat shamed on a plus size dating app why what that doesn't even seem like that that's big of a deal dude i man what do you of course you're gonna get fat shamed on a fat fucking a fat shaming or whatever a plus size dating app dude uh, they're all condensed. All you're getting is fat people, so it's super easy to make fun of them because they're right there. Duh. You're all condensed, dude. That's like, that's like having a water hole of nothing but fat people, and then you're complaining that, uh, there's water in it. That's, I mean, maybe that was a, <laughs> maybe that was a bad analogy. But anyway, guys, we're gonna end the video here. 
because I think it's been going on for long enough. It's a long one today, but you guys seem to like the long ones, no pun intended. And uh, so we're going to do the long ones. I'd appreciate if everybody could like, comment, subscribe, share the video. If you watch the video the entire way through, which is an astonishment, absolutely amazing. I can't believe that you watch the video the entire way through. But what can I expect from somebody as amazing as you? Put down below macaroni. That's right. Write down macaroni or if there's a macaroni emoji, however you want to do that macaroni or uh, I guess you could put down pasta. Like if there's a pasta emoji of some kind, you could do that too. I would appreciate any of those things. Then that would indicate to me how much of a beautiful extravagantly beautiful, amazing, absolutely dashing good looks. I mean, I can't, when I see you, it's astonishing to me that a person like you can actually exist. God himself, no way God could have made you because it, even God could not have created somebody as perfect as you. You are the emanation. You are the physical representation of perfect and nothing about, nothing anyone can say to you can ever take that away from you. You are just ungodly beautiful. Anyway, uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram. I barely upload on it. But if you want to follow me on there, I will follow you back. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.